Mrs. Sirisha came to us anxious to conceive. She is 35 years old and has been married for two years. Her recent AMH was very very low and hence she visited us to know what would be her chances of having a baby. And in we at Kim's Fertility Center are experts in dealing with this group of patients. We have the expertise to deal with this group of patients. And actually Sirisha is not alone. These days it is not uncommon to see a lot of women who present with low AMH. AMH is anti-mullerian hormone. AMH reflects the egg reserve or in other words the egg number in an individual. This in turn is reflection of the fertility of that particular individual. This is mainly because of lifestyle issues where women want to try for a pregnancy only in the late early 30s and some in the late 30s. However, the fertility for women is at peak during the 20s and starts declining in the early 30s and more so when one reaches 35 years of age. Actually in my clinic, out of the three women who come to me who are more than 35 years of age, two out of three have very low AMH. So unfortunately, many women are not aware of this and they tend to leave this until late, finding themselves in such a difficult situation. However, in our unit based on the assessment and what is called antral follicle count and the low AMA and based on the AMH values, we have the technologies to help, help them get a baby. Usually it is what is called ART or assisted reproductive techniques are offered either IUI or IVF based on the case profile. Uh, provided we get one or two good embryos in this group of patients, we have a reasonable success rates in this group of patients also using their own eggs with IVF. However, if the reserve is really low or post IVF if we find the quality is very poor, then this group of women would be suggested to have the next step which is IVF using donor eggs.